Hey guys, it's Casey. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I wanted to do a video that I've wanted to do for a while and I kind of did about a year ago, um, but I wanted to do it today because a quarantine hello and um, I just felt like in everything going on, like things are uncertain. I wanted to do a fun video that would potentially bring everyone some joy. So, for today, I'm going to talk you through my entire Pandora collection because um, I love it and I have some very meaningful pieces. So, let's go. The first thing I'm going to talk about is kind of like the rings because sadly, none of these rings fit me anymore. Um, I know I can go get them sized, but I don't know why, but my hands could be seasons change. My hands have swelled up. So bad, this ring is huge and it fits my thumb and it now only fits this finger um, and it's huge. And these are very, very dainty in comparison and they used to fit um, that finger. But anyways, let's go. So the first ring I have is this really cute one and it's like the little wishbone ring. And it's one of my absolute favorites. And I know I can always get these sized um, by like a professional jeweler, which I, as soon as quarantine is over, I'm thinking I'm going to just because I do want to be able to wear these rings again. Um, so I probably will go have them done by a professional jeweler and have them sized so they look nice. Um, the next ring I have is my infinity ring, which is one of my absolute favorites, and I love wearing it, and, or I used to, now it fits my, um, pinky. And then the other one is, I just, it's a simple band. And I actually got this one, this one might actually be the one that fits the best. Um, I actually got this one for my brother's wedding two years ago because um, I wanted just a very simple ring and that's what I got. So those are my three rings. Now I did pick these up which were not in the older video. They're little um, like padlock or heart earrings if you can see that. That's too close. And they just say Pandora on them. And they're really disgusting because I've worn these a lot and they do need to be professionally cleaned. All of these things need to be professionally cleaned, but um, that will not be happening for a hot minute. But they're just these cute little um, lock, padlock heart earrings that are really cute. And yeah. So those are the kind of rings slash earrings I have. We're going to to the bracelets and the charms. So this bracelet I got from my boss for my birthday, it's the leather one that you just cinch like that and then you just uncinch it to be able to undo it. And this, there's a little button on the side right here that you press in and this pops off and that's how you um, put these on. Now I have been wearing my Tiffany's bracelet a lot. But um, I'm thinking, because I get quite bored with jewelry, that I'm, and like I'm wearing this a lot, that I'm thinking of switching it up and putting some different bracelets and jewelry um, in just for funsies. So this is the leather wrap bracelet that I have, which I absolutely love. And I love that it's like a little like sunflower. But like I said, you press that in and press it in again and it clocks back in. So the next bracelet I have is just this snake bracelet and it's just the very, very classic um, Pandora um, bracelet. Now, I think the rule is, and they measured me for this and kind of unfortunately, um, they I am a lefty so I wear my bracelets on my left hand because I wear my watch on my right. And unfortunately, um, when they measured me, it was pre-breaking 
my wrist, um, which was three years ago. And if you guys want to see a video about that, let me know. Um, so this is now a little tight. Um, if I have all my um, charms on it. So what they suggested I do is that I wear my heavy, my few heavy charms and let this stretch out because it will. But that is my second bracelet and then also the original bracelet that I got. Now on to my charms. I'm going to do the glass first. Um, this one is called, now a lot of these are discontinued. Just throwing it out there. Um, this cute, and this is like the Murano glass. This one with like the painted sides is called Folklore. And the reason I was drawn to this was I'm a, I love storytelling. I love legends. I love myths. I love mythology. And for some reason, like the fact that this is called Folklore and it kind of reminded me of, um, like a peacock feather, um, for some reason, just, I don't know, just really drew me to it. And I love folklore, and it's just, like, the name of it. I was like, oh, well, that's the perfect first glass for me. Um, the next glass one I have, and this is kind of, like, um, textured, but I believe this is called Shore Sea Glass. They had a Shore Sea Glass and a Deep Sea Sea Glass. Um, this is the Shore Sea Glass. And if you guys know, I mean, I went to college in Florida, and we would find sea glass on the shore all the time. Uh, the next one is this um, orange one with cute little flowers. And this uh, was very representative of me to um, Hawaii. And Hawaii is literally one of my favorite places. And I love it. I've been to Maui twice, and I've been to a few of the other islands. <laughs> this is my little Hawaii remembrance one. So on to the actual charms that I have. I do have quite a lot, and let's go. So I'm going to start with the first charm I got. Now, all of these charms have meanings. So I'm going to start off with the first charm I got which is this, and it is the Sydney Opera House, and on, yeah, on this side it says Sydney, and now the reason that I got this is because one of my dreams is to go to, sorry, one of my dreams is to go to Australia. And I've always wanted to go, I've always been really fascinated with Australia, and I want to go to Australia Zoo, and just be there. So, I that's like my little kind of like, I, I don't know, some people have like visualization boards, or they visualize things they want to do, and that's my little visualization. The next one I got was this one. And it's a camel. And I got that um, for my remembrance of my trip to Egypt. Because I rode camels um, in Giza when we were visiting the pyramids. And um, if I can find a picture, I will insert one. But that's my little Egypt reminder. And because that was the only thing that they kind of had that was like Egypt-like. So, my little camel. Then I got this uh, little mermaid. And she has like a, a pretty little detailed tail. Now, I am an ocean girl. My ears don't love the ocean, but I do. So, um, I was always obsessed with the little mermaid as a kid. And I always wanted to be a mermaid, and I consider myself a land mermaid because, like, if I can be in the water, I am. So, yeah. Let's see. I then got this little camera one. Now, all of these I pretty much bought myself, with the exception of a few that I will talk you through. Um, but I got this little camera, and I think I got this for, like, my birthday. And I've always been very... I don't know if you guys can even see that. I've always been... 
very into photography, and I'm sure that this is so blurry, um, so I apologize. I've always been very into photography and filming, and I, I thought it was a cute little camera. So the next one I got is this kind of little dolphin. And this I got because um, I love ocean animals and they didn't have a shark. And I am obsessed with dolphins and I swam with dolphins twice. So I just, I love dolphins. <laughs> um, I then have this one which goes hand in hand with the infinity ring. It is the infinity um infinite infinity I think thing but it also goes with the ring and I'm obsessed with infinity symbols I think like the fact that things can be infinite and endless um just it gives me hope for love um and yeah so that's just a really simple explanation um I then got this and if you don't know what this is it's the symbol for Scorpio, and then it also has like a little scorpion. And then the other side says, oh, just a Scorpio on it. Um, I'm a Scorpio. I was born in November. I was born exactly in the middle of the month, pretty much. Um, so I'm a Scorpio, so that's just me. And then these are my two dangly ones, which I'll talk about together. This is another little dolphin but it has jewels in it but it's like a dangly dolphin um and my dad got me this and then this is my little gator and this is represented of my lizard that I had um who if you guys don't know um his name was Conan there's a video about what happened with him um on this channel um but also living in Florida for five years, you know, Florida Gators. Florida's a part of me. It's my second home. So I just, I got that. Just kind of symbolized my time there. And like I said, all of these charms are very meaningful and they all have like a symbol, a symbolism to me and something like I've done or been through or seen. So yeah. And then I have this little turtle. And that's kind of also Hawaii. And then I have this, which I believe is called Wanderlust. And if you don't know what Wanderlust is, Wanderlust is like the need to travel. And I love traveling. I love seeing new things. So, yeah. And then the last one is this little cute flower with a heart. And on the side it says, um, friendship starts with the heart. And I was given this beautiful charm along with this from my boss and her daughter-in-law who I work with. Um, she and I were co-teachers for a very long time um, before I took over the room next to hers. So that uh, was given to me for my 30th birthday, um, which was a year and a half ago about. Um, yeah, so like I said, all of these mean a lot to me. They all have a symbolism and um, I will eventually get the rings resized. And then I also have these just plain spacers that um, keep things together so that they don't like slide around too much if you don't have a lot of um, charms. Uh, I don't know if they work so much for this. I should actually try that because that would be a really, yeah, no, these slide too on this one. Um, that's a bummer. Another good thing to have, which they have there, is these little guitar picks. Um, because that's how you open the spacers. So, that is my little Pandora walkthrough. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. Um, I don't I mean, I don't know. I I feel silly saying that, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave me comments below if you want to see different videos. Um, 
I can talk you guys, I can tell you do story time my broken arm, even though I think I did that a long time ago. I can do story times for my tattoos, um, which I might do next week. So if you like this video, thumbs it up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe, stay healthy, and goodbye.